of database. Lecture number three. The relational model, definition, relational algebra, and relational computing. There is our plan of the lesson. Number one is relational algebra and relational computing. And number two is special programs for creating and managing relational databases. And there are some references of our lesson. You can look and read them if you want to know some more information. Database models. A database model defines the logical design of data and then describes the relationship between different parts of data. Three models. Hierarchical model, network model, relational model. Hierarchical model. Data are organized as an upside-down tree. Each entity has only one parent, but can have several children. You can look at the example and read it. Network model. The entities are organized in a graph. Some entities can be accessed through several paths. And again, you can look at the picture and read it on ourselves. And after it, relational model. Data are organized in two-dimensional tables called relations. The tables are related to each other. The most popular model. And you can look at the example. Relational model, RDBMS, Relational Database Management System. External view, the data are represented as a set of relations. A relations is a two-dimensional table. This doesn't mean that data are stored as tables. The physical storage of the data is independent of the way the data are logically organized. Relation Name Each relation in a relational database should have a name that is in queue among other relations. Attribute each column in a relation. The degree of the relation, the total number of attributes for a relation. Tuple each row in a relation. The cardinality of the relation, the total number of rows in a relation. And there is a picture for you. Relational model. In the relational model, all data must be stored in relations. Tables. Each relation consists of rows and columns. Each relation must have a header and body. The header is simply the list of columns in the relation. The body is the set of data that actually populates the relation organized into rows. You can explore that the junction of one column and one row will result in a unique value. This value is called a tuple. Relational model. The another major characteristic of the relational model is the usage of keys. These are specially designed set columns within a relation used to order data or relate data to other relation. One of the most important keys is the primary key, which is used to unequally identify each row of data. To make querying for data easier, most relational databases go further and physically order the data by the primary key. Foreign keys relate data in one relation to the primary key of another relation. The relational model is the most used data model for commercial data processing because it is simple to use and to maintain. 
A relational data model is based on a collection of tables. The user of the database system may query these tables, insert new tuples, and update or modify tuples. There are several languages for expressing these operations. Structure of relational database A row in a table represents a relationship among a set of values where the columns are the representation of the attributions. And the second is the relational algebra. It defines a set of algebraic operations that operate on tables and output tables as their result. These operations can be combined to get expre expressions that express desired queries. Properties of a relation It has a name which is Unicue within the relational scheme. Department name or column should not contain values other than department's name. Each cell of a relation contains exactly one value. Each attribute has a name. Each tuple is unique. The order of attributes is insignificant. The order of tuples is insignificant. Basic structure. The count table below represents a relation in the relational model. The three columns titles are the attributes and their are domains. Each row is called a tuple. An account is a subset of the set of all possible tuples. And there are account number, branch name and balance. A101 downtown 500. A102 Peru Ridge 400. A201 Brighton 900 A215 Miano 700 It's an example Database scheme A database scheme is a logical design of database Database instance is a snapshot of the data and the DB at a given instance in time Relation instance is a programming language notion of a value of a variable. Database scheme. Relation scheme consists of a list of attributes and their corresponding domain. The convention uppercase letter are used so account scheme, account number, branch name and balance. This means that account is a relation on account scheme by account, account scheme. Database scheme. Relation instance is a set of values of a relation at a specific moment in time. These values may change in time causing a change in the relation as it is updated. Keys Super key, candidate key, primary key, and foreign key. Super key is a set of one or more attributes that allow us to identify uniquely an entity in the entity set. And candidate key are minimal super key in, a, in an entity. One of those keys is selected to be the primary key. And the primary key is a candidate key that is chosen to identify entities within an entity set. And finally, foreign key is a primary key of another relation scheme. Keys If key or R is a super key for R, then the relation R does not have two tuples with the same value. So if T1 and T2 are in R, its T1 is T2. How to determine keys? 
Strong Entity Set, Weak Entity Set, and Relation Set Strong Entity Set The Entity Primary Key becomes the Relation Primary Key Weak Entity Set The primary key of the set relation is the union of the Strong Entity Set Primary Key and the Discriminator and the relation sets the union of the primary keys of the related entity sets becomes a super key of the relation. How to determine keys? Combining tables. In the many to one, the primary key of the many becomes the relation primary key. In a one to one, as a primary key can be used. And the last one, multivalued attributes. The entity primary key becomes the primary key. And then scheme drag diagram, a database scheme with primary and foreign key dependencies. Account, account number, branch name and balance. It's a relation and primary. And it's going a branch, branch name, branch city assets. And from a borrower, customer name, loan number, it goes to customer, customer name, customer street, customer city, and to the loan, loan number, branch name and the amount, and after it to the branch. And the depositor, customer name, account number, it goes to the account and the customer. Shade indicates primary key. Relational algebra. The relational algebra is a pure procedural query language. It consists of a set of operations that take one or two relations as input in an expression and produce a new relation as their result. A constant relation is written inside this. A general expression is contrast in Successive expressions. If they work on on one relation, are called unary operation, or otherwise are said to be binary. Operations on relations. In a relational database, we can define several operations to create new relations out of the existing ones. Basic operations are insert, delete, update, select, project, join, union, intersections, and uh, difference. And after it is a unary operations. Select operation, project operation, and then rename operation. Select operation is a choose the tuples that satisfy a given predicament. Branch name the parentage loan. Project operation allows the user to select particular attributes of a relationship. Loan number amount loan. And after it a rename operation, given name to the results of relational algebra expressions. Big loans amount uh, one thousand two hundred loan. And after it binary operation. Union operation and different operation. Union operation allows the user to unify two different relations and display re the result. Customer name borrower and the customer name depositor. Difference operation finds the tuples that are in one relation but not in another. Customer name borrower and the customer name depositor. Binary operation, Cartesian product, composition of operation, combines information from any two relations, branch name, parentage, borrower, and uh, loan. Compositor of operation means that to find information, we can associate more information operation into an expression. Customer name. Customer city Harrison customer. Insert operation 
and unary operation, insert a new tuple into the relation. Insert, and you can look at the examples. Delayed operation. An unary operation delete a tuple defined by a criterion from the relation. This is a photo. You can read it. Update operation. An unary operation change the value of some attributes of a tuple. Update. And you must write to it uh, in your copybooks. Select operation. An unary operation. It is applied to one single relation and creates another relation. The tuples in the resulting relations are a subset of a tuples in the original relation. Use some criteria to select. Select. And there are pictures for this. And the next is project operation and unary operation. It is applied to one single relation and creates another relation. The attributes in the resulting relation are a subset of the attributes in the original relation. Join operation. A binary operation combines two relations based on a common attributes. Union operation. A binary operation creates a new relation in which each tuple is either in the first relation, in the second, or in both. The two relations must have the same attributes. You can read it yourself. Intersection operation. A binary operation creates a new relation in which each tuple is a member in both relations. The two relations must have the same attributes. Difference operation. A binary operation creates a new relation in which each tuple is uh, in the first relation but not the second. The two relations must have the same attributes. You can look at the picture. And there are some questions for you. Number one is, where is relational algebra used? Number two is, how is how is relational computing done? Number three is a primary key is which of these following? Number four is creating a relational database. And the finally fifth is what programs are available for working with relational data? Thank you for attention. Nazarlanska Rahmed.